Hello, wonderful people watching my YouTube channel, Bluedo. I'm Chef Sui. Today, I'm going to cook Koje e Sedano pasta, which is mosso and butter celery. When I learned about the Italian cooking, it's from a few Italian chefs, we used to use mosso and mirepoix and garlic chili, white wine, etc. But this time, I'm going to use Goriano water celery. I know just a little about the Italian cooking, but as I know the Italian cooking, any you know, ingredient can be replaced unless we put cheese and cream into the seafood. Then, let's try it. So okay, so here are all the ingredients collected. 10 pieces of the goje, around the four sticks of the water celery, one and third Korean leek, three garlic, one pepperoncini, and pinch of the salt and pepper, 65 to 70 grams of spaghetti, and lastly, I will use half ladle of the white wine for deglazing. Right, once the water in the pot starts boiling, I'm going to put one tablespoon of the salt into the pot. Then twist the pasta with the two hands and put them into water. Cooking time for spaghetti of this product is for 7 minutes. Okay, when the time is up, take the pasta out and mix with a decent amount of the olive oil so noodles don't stick. Okay, so I got cooked the pasta and it's time for Michon Plus. Firstly, I'm going to slice Korean spring onion to right size, not too big and not too small. Secondly, to roughly chop Korean water celery. Then, take out tabs of the garlic and slice it thinly but not to slice too thinly. Lastly, slice Korean chili around half size. Slice as thin as you slice garlic. That's all. Simple and really easy. Once the oil preparation has done, then we're gonna cook ingredient in over medium high heat. Basically, in the steps of the making garlic oil, use less than medium high heat. And once mussel and white wine gets in, turn the heat to the over medium high heat so that moisture is evaporated properly and other ingredients become not too soggy. Alright, then the last to pan cooking. If you think the pan is too hot, then you can take the pot off from the heat and control the temperature. Put garlic and spring onion into a pot and cook until it gets beautiful smell of the sauce, garlic and spring onion. Season with one pinch of the salt and pepper each. When 10 pieces of the mussel get into the pot, don't drop the temperature. And look after the bottom part so that it doesn't burn. And then straightly pour half ladle of the white wine. You will see the mussel start opening when white wine evaporating and steaming mussels. Smells of the white wine should be removed thoroughly. Then pour one layer of the pasta water into a pot and leave it for another 30 seconds. Of course, Korean water celery goes into pot straight away. In this stage, do not overcook water celery, but just cook it like you blanch it. Lastly, make sure check there are unopened one and open it if it doesn't open their mouth. Chop cooked pasta in mix properly until moisture and olive oil incorporate together. Source of the pasta should not be watery.
Okay, now, time to eat. Ooh, look at that creamy. It's beautiful. Hmm. The pasta is al dente and sauce is creamy. Now I'll try the water celery. I have absolutely nothing to say about this pasta. I really like it. Absolutely delicious. Man, I need some wine. Okay, I give you the direct comment. The flavor of the water celery is not dominating other ingredients, but it helps the muscle taste much much better. Maybe use a little bit less chili. A little bit it touches my tongue. And you know what? The cost of the whole ingredient is super cheap. Share this pasta with your lovely daughter and son. Ciao. Thank you. Bye bye.